Mr. Kennedy. I think you can regard yourself as fully compensated for tripping over a pinner paving stone. I'm really grateful, Mr. Callender. <laughs> really grateful. <laughs> I've told me mates, if they want to sue, you're the guy. <laughs> my middle name is Sue. My mother wanted a girl. <laughs> well, I'll be on my way. Thanks again, Mr. C. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're right. You'll get used to me. I trip over everything. <laughs> <laughs> over everything. <laughs> oh, mind the stairs. <laughs> well, Perry, I bet you wish I had a pavement case now and again, don't you? <laughs> Oh, hello, Hillary. Just a quick word. That I doubt, Hillary. Um, oh, has the uh, EEC law book arrived yet? Oh, no, I ain't seen it. Uh, Mr. Callender, mm -hmm. you know, like when you're a hairdresser, you get people to practice on. I'll take your word for it, Hillary. <laughs> well, I was wondering if I could have a few clients. Uh, just little ones, not merge or anything. <laughs> you mean uh, GBH uh, assault and battery fraud? Yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> Don't answer right away. Have a think about it. I am, Hillary, I am. <laughs> Oh, by the way, mm. your Mrs. Angel rang about tonight. She said the restaurant's called the uh, Punch Up in Pinna. Punch Up? <laughs> I think you mean the Punjab. <laughs> it's Indian. Oh, I love an Indian, don't you? <laughs> Ask for the chicken finder, Lou. Uh, <laughs> where's Miss Flood? Isn't she usually dragging you away by this time? No, she sent me in. Oh. The thing is, this man's on the phone to her. We had a lovely voice. Uh, uh, do do you think you could go and bother uh, see Jamie? That is, if he's arrived. Oh, right. <laughs> I'd settle for a little burglar. Oh, I'll find you a dwarf who robs bungalows, OK? <laughs> he's stuck, yeah. Well, Perry, you think it's murder where you are? Me? A real romantic? Oh, how kind. We have a lot in common, then. You know... I can't believe that it's being published. And you will send me a copy. Thank you. Well, like you, I believe in the old values. Sending a woman flowers, buying her gifts, treating her like a piece of Dresden china. Morning, Miss Flood. Morning, Hilary. Uh, uh, at the third stroke, it will be 9.54 in 10 seconds. <laughs> Night. Night. Night, Tommy. Night, Darren. Still raining, is it? <laughs> so much for modern technology. You should use the old-fashioned kind, Mrs. Angel. Ah, oh, but mine works in sunshine too, Gabby. God, I hope the bus comes quick. Well, well, don't worry. I'll give you a lift. My car's just over there. Your car? Some shares come up trumps. <laughs> I passed the test last month. First time round. It is all right to give you a lift. It is if you want an A-double plus in PE, Gavin. <laughs> <sighs> well, Gavin, you must be one of these outputly mobiles I keep reading about. I don't know how I'd manage without old Maggie. How do you manage without a car, Mrs. Angel? I get very wet. <laughs> I can't drive. Ridiculous, isn't it? Well, doesn't your husband drive a car, Mrs. Angel? I'm divorced. I just keep the name for school. Well, don't let it worry you, because one in three marriages end in divorce. So don't blame yourself. <laughs> you don't fancy dinner this evening by any chance, do you? I... Dinner? I know a place. Well, well for... thank you, but actually I'm taking someone out this evening. <clears throat> ah, well, some other time, then. Perhaps when I'm a little older. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome, Mrs. Hello. Angel. Hello, Mr. Chowdhury. And Mr. Angel. <laughs> Actually, I'm not Mr. Angel. Um, how's Nasrullah? Oh, no more Indian rope tricks for a while. Uh, Mr. Chowdhury's son sprained his wrist in PE. Uh, you've been here before? Oh, yes, lots of times. Oh. Could we have some proper doms, please, to nibble at? Certainly. Well, it all looks very exotic. 
Could be a list of Indian MPs, for all I know. <laughs> now, what would you like? No, what would you like? Well, you're not eating. Oh, good, that'll save a few bob. Don't be fast. It's my turn to ask you. OK, I'll go first, seeing as it's you. Alec, this is my treat, OK? Are you receiving me? Over. Now then, how many Margies do you get in a Margie Masala? Alec, when I suggested this, didn't you twig I wanted to take you out? Oh, Zoe, it's very sweet of you. But it's a man's prerogative. A man's prerogative? Yeah. Where's that written? The country diary of an Edwardian twit. <laughs> no, all I mean is... Have you decided? Uh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, yes, we have. We'll have two onion bhajis, a tandoori mixed grill, a lamb sagwala and some bindi. Any bindi masala? Mm, yes, please, and a naan, a keema naan, and a peshawar. Alec, beer to drink? Good, what? two beers, please, Mr. <laughs> Two beers, please. And uh, let's have some taka dal. Certainly. Medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been facing Mecca. <laughs> oh, thank you. You do realise half your salary is on that menu. Oh, Alec, I don't believe this. Mm. OK, you didn't bill me for my divorce. It's payment in kind. I've already had payment in kind. Well, this is the kind you can have in restaurants. <laughs> one for you, uh, Mrs Angel. Thank you. And one for you, not Mr Angel. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You, you, you sure you wouldn't prefer a Ganges water or something? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I don't know what it was, but it was very tasty. <laughs> the punch-up in Pinna. <laughs> I never realised this was here. My little yuppie Gavin probably has his business lunches here. I don't think I like you having a toy boy. Oh, I see. It's all right to have a toy girl, is it? That's different. Excuse Wait. me. Ah. Thank you, Mr. Chowdhury. That was lovely. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Alec, please. I told you I was paying. Zoe, a joke's a joke. <laughs> I wasn't joking, Alec. I'll take the bill. <laughs> Zoe, I have a client over there. I can't have him see you buy me a meal. Yes. Do you rather he saw you ripping my arm off? So <laughs> give me the bill, please. Zoe, you are embarrassing both of us. Oh dear. <laughs> Shall we go Dutch? <laughs> it's an old Scottish custom. <laughs> it's called splitting the bill. <laughs> are you satisfied now? Shall I drive you home now? Or well, have you got your truck outside? <laughs> you know, it's just as well you can't drive. You'd have me going home with you looking at your etchings. <clears throat> you should learn to receive more graciously, Alec. And then you won't go to start taking driving lessons. Good. You know they cost a fortune. I've got enough cash, thank you. You can't afford it. I'll teach you. No, Alec, I couldn't. With your workload. And so it'll be much cheaper. And let's face it, it's the least I can do after tonight. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Flood. Where'd you meet him? I don't know what you're talking about. You've gone and got yourself a boyfriend at last. <laughs> Gosh, don't move. Do you know, with the sun glinting on you like that, I thought it was Merle Oberon. <laughs> Merle Oberon is dead. Oh. <laughs> Well, you're even better looking, then. <laughs> Find out anything? No, she's still clutching her secret to her bosom. Lucky secret. <laughs> Unlike some people, I don't flaunt my liaisons. I think she's in love. Oh. I hope you don't toy with her affections and then toss her aside like some old boot. <laughs> I suppose it's better than nothing, isn't it? Still no sign of that EUC law book, Mr Callender. If it doesn't come soon, we may as well wait for the film to come out. Oh, Miss Flood, um, would you ever buy a man dinner? Well, um, I get my paycheck on Friday. I'd be only too delighted. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, as a matter of principle, would you? Oh, well, I've always felt that it was the man's place to treat the woman. 
In fact, in my book, the man Your chooses... book? What book's that? Oh, um, no, I, I meant to my way of thinking. Ah. A man should cosset a woman, send her flowers, shower her with gifts. Buy her pints of beer? Pints of beer? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not my fault we're here. You should have been more specific. I thought turn left was specific. But it's this car. It's too executive. All these warning lights. I keep expecting it to flash this week's mortgage rate. I can't <laughs> believe that you can't drive at 27. I am 26, 11 months and 18 days. And don't be so disparaging. You can't climb ropes. Very useful on the A40. <laughs> right, go, 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 go. All right, all right, all right. It's, it's second. No, 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 that's third. No, it's the one with the two on it, darling. Not a complete moron, Alec. Have you proof? <laughs> anyway, Kevin wouldn't let me drive his car and I couldn't afford my own. Well, don't worry about that now. <laughs> don't forget, keep your hands at 10 to 2. What? 10 to 2, you've got them at 20 past 8. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's better. I told you before I started. I should have taken notes. <laughs> Where do you learn to drive then? In the army. Oh, Panzer Division, was it? <laughs> You're too near, darling. You're too near. Put your foot on the brake. No, no, that's the accelerator. That's better. There you are, you see? Nice and easy, darling. Don't call me darling. <laughs> There's a left here. Shall I take it? Unless you have a burning desire to see Oxford. Live <laughs> without sarcasm, Nick. <laughs> that doesn't help, Alec. <laughs> You're cross. I can tell by the way you're eating your pork scratchings. How am I eating my pork? A pig at a time. <laughs> he couldn't even let me take him out for a meal. It's like the rules are written in blood. The man pays, the woman flutters her eyelashes. The woman pays, believe me. Remember Sally the sirloin at school? The sirloin steak is all it will take. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in his day, that's how it was. Yeah, those blokes at the bar keep looking at us. Let them look. Debbie, I'm 26. What, 27 any minute? If I want to buy a man a meal, I'll buy him a meal. If I want to drink a pint, I'll drink a pint. If I want to seduce him, I seduce him. But you let him think he's seducing you. Yeah, well, I'm liberated, not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so you've got a bloke you really like with plenty to spend on you. Why don't you just enjoy it? Oh, he is lovely, Debs. But take the driving lessons. He wouldn't let me pay for my own. I've been saving up. He's been treating me like the little woman. Oh, put your foot down. I did. What happened? We hit the curb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be difficult for him. Blokes of his age get set in their ways. Unlike your Trevor. Oh, my Trevor will let you buy him a meal any time. In fact, he'll insist on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you think Alec's too old a dog to be taught new tricks? Apart from rolling over and saluting the Queen. Apart from... <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, I'm not going to tell you how to run your life. Oh? Those blokes are definitely looking at us. Oh, God, is it worth threatening a good relationship just for some principles? Definitely not. Who asked you? Oh, Zoe, I live for these chats. It's better than neighbours. <laughs> Which they do GCSE in neighbours. Anyway, 3B will get any qualifications. <laughs> Mr Kennedy, how can you fall over a butcher? You hardly had time to count your compensation. Well, he was in the street, Mr Callender. <laughs> or fool him. Mr. Kennedy. Uh, Mr. Callender, had... he wasn't a real butcher. He was an imposter butcher. <laughs> a lot of them about. No, he was made of plaster. You know, the old fashioned kind with a striped apron. Oh. I thought he'd get out of the way. How could he get out of the way? He was made of plaster. Well, I didn't <laughs> see he was plaster till I fell over him. Then his head fell off. <laughs> that gave you a clue. Anybody would have fallen over him? Not anybody, Mr. Kennedy. You do realise that I'll have to hear the butcher's side. His head fell off. No. No, not that much. <laughs> Look, I, I suppose you want to sue. Yeah, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Callender. Right. You know, loss of earnings and that. Yeah. Now, what is it you do? Oh, now that does surprise me. Built the business up single-handed. 
Charopodist, Charopractor, Cider Maker. I'm not telling you, Hilary. I tell you what my Derek does. Yes, you do, don't you? <laughs> what do you talk about? We discuss literature, the relationship between a man and a woman. Oh, like Jackie Collins, you mean? <laughs> Mind you, that's more like between a man and hundreds of women. <laughs> Sometimes it's even Hillary, like a man. <laughs> there's more to a relationship than just sex. There's courtesy and kindness and old-fashioned gallantry. Any joy? No, just courtesy, kindness and old-fashioned gallantry. <laughs> so, uh, when are we going to meet your Mr Wright? He's far too busy. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I only asked him to ring here because my mother's even nosier than you. I think you're beginning to blush, Miss Flood. Oh, no, I know what that is. Mum's going through the same thing. <laughs> Just don't say anything, Alec. You mean about your 28-point turns? <laughs> That's the sort of thing. My lips are sealed. Right, let's go into reverse, shall we? <clears throat> go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Reverse means backward, darling. Alec, don't be so bloody patronising. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Right. Hey. <laughs> well, that wasn't too difficult, was it? Right, in a moment I'm going to ask you to take a left turn. Don't forget your indicator. We may be members of the EEC, but we we'll still drive on the left. All you have to say, Alec, is keep left. You're not on Wogan. So, what sort of car do you fancy? Uh, well, I flirted with a Mercedes, a BMW, a Jaguar. Alec, it'll be a little while yet on my salary. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> what do you mean, we'll see? <laughs> Eyes on the road. <laughs> no. In a minute, we're going to do what they call an emergency stop. When I slap my hand on the dashboard like that, you hit the brake and the clutch, huh? And don't go too fast. It's not very likely, is it? Well, that's fine. But don't forget, it's ten to two. What? Oh, my God, Alec, I've got three B at two o'clock. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you slow, slow down, slow down. Stop the car. Just... <laughs> This week, the head will kill me. What are you week? doing? I didn't mean. No, no. Will you stop doing that? I do hate petulance. <laughs> stop. I'm not playing the bloody drums, woman. What are you trying to do? Kill us both. The essence of teaching, Alec, is mutual respect. Now, where did you put my school? <laughs> Not exactly, Hilary. Are you all right, Mr. Calendar? Shaken, but not stirred. Yeah. Do you think that Mrs. Angel of his has been wearing him out? Hilary! <laughs> I don't think they've been discussing literature, Miss Flood. Where's he taking you this Saturday? Start at Ascot and work your way down. Well, Perry, here's one. The case of the gym teacher's birthday. It's a real poser. Do you think I yeah. should buy... This bloke's talking about mutardis mutandis. 
Well, you know some ancient Romans. What does it mean? Don't they teach you anything at college these days? You patronising old git. <laughs> it's the second time I've been called that today, and not so much of the old, please. Only the second? Jamie, one of the few remaining pleasures for people of my age is patronising people of your age. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Mm. Oh, I met the postman. Must be your riveting EEC book. Oh. Oh, oh, by the way, I want a word with you about cars. Oh, right. My specialist subject. What is a good runaround? Not too pricey. What type of person? Well, I suppose your type of person. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd love to think about it. <laughs> you know, you're not such a bad old stick. <laughs> if you're going to buy me a car, you can patronise me all you like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for you, you bloody eject, isn't it? No. You patronising old git. <laughs> That's more like it. Now clear off. Go on. <laughs> A lawyer in love by Elvira Storm. <laughs> well, this is better than EEC law, Perry. As he walked into the office, her heart skipped a beat. Would he give her that familiar, all-embracing smile? Were well, those roses in his hand for her? <laughs> no calls, please, Miss Flood. <laughs> so you're joking? I'm not, Debs. He's getting me a car for my birthday. I'm sure of it. He keeps giving me hints. My sister, a kept woman. <laughs> Just think, I knew you when you were nothing. Can you imagine me turning up to school in a brand new car? What do they think? That you're falling on your feet. Or on my back. <laughs> I'm independent. If I need a car, I'll buy one. Eventually. For my birthday, Trevor bought me a wrench and socket set. <laughs> for his bike. You see, nobody bought him his first car. He's just being kind. But I think it's important to struggle a bit in life. Oh, reminds me of my first date. Except Trevor give in eventually. <laughs> well, that's why Miss Cracknell, he smiled. How well she knew that solicitor of the Supreme Court smile. Anywhere, she replied, and sealed the smile with a kiss. She had found her lawyer in love. Well, Perry, it's a good thing I've got a sweet tooth. Well, well, well. Look what's just arrived, Mr. Callender. Oh, what's that? Well, I thought it was the EEC law book, <laughs> but it wasn't. You didn't read it. A lawyer in love by Elvira Storm. Would that I had the time, Miss. No, Scott. no, it doesn't sound a suitable book for a man. Or liberated lady, hmm? <laughs> I suppose the heroine is cosseted and spoiled. Showered with gifts. Mm -hmm. If not drenched. Well, I don't suppose it was written to make people think. You made me think. I did. Oh. Oh. Mr. Callender, you knew. Well, Elvira Storm, Vera Flood. <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder. <laughs> Why did you write it? I wanted to prove that I could do something. Well, to show your independence? Yes, if you like. And uh, the boyfriend? Hillary's convinced it's a woodworm controller called Zog. <laughs> I think he's going to have to go abroad very soon. <laughs> I expect you'll still write, though, eh? I expect so. <laughs> Don't worry, he's BMW trained. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Oh, God. Oh, why am I so nervous? Just say... Thank you, Alec. You know he means well. Rum, rum, rum. Happy birthday. Well, how did you know? Well, am I 26 years, 11 months and 18 days old already? <laughs> I must be psychic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, don't move. Don't move a muscle. What is it? Oh, Ow. a grey hair. Don't worry, I'll stick by you. Thank God for that. Come on. Hmm. I love the cake, Alec. I made it myself. So do all the currants on by hand. <laughs> oh, 
There's a lot of cards. And what's this here? Oh, cute. <laughs> so Mrs. Angel, happy birthday from her little devil, Gavin. <laughs> Not so cute. <laughs> so, have you had lots of presents? Oh, this and that. Suppose you'll be uh, wanting my present now, will you? Plenty of time, Alec. When I was a kid, my dad would bring a huge box all wrapped up. And, and inside to be a smaller one and mm. a smaller one and a smaller one till you got right down to the last one, like a tiny little jewel box. One year he forgot to put the last box in, I was in tears and Mum nearly killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking of boxes, what have we here? For me? Well, it's got your name on it. It must be. Oh, well, Alec, it's lovely. <coughs> <laughs> we haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Is it okay? They all smell the same in the shop. Thank you, Alec. It's a lovely present. Happy birthday. <laughs> <coughs> of course, I, uh, I couldn't wrap your other present. Other present? It's outside. Outside? Hmm? <laughs> We're outside. Oh, I can't wait any longer. Come on, birthday girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, Alec. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Bit of a pothole here. Just tripped up. <laughs> Driving lessons. Uh-huh. And when you come back, you're taking me out for a slap-up birthday meal. But it's my birthday. Aye, and you deserve a treat. You see how unchauvinist I'm getting? He must have swallowed the book. Uh-huh. <laughs> Off you go. Oh, Alec. When will you ever understand us women? I don't know. Christmas, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, ten to two, full marks to you. Thank you.